All right, everyone, welcome on into episode number 81 of that one about the Christmas spectacular is the here. The COVID spreader spectacular. Oh my God. It's- Everyone in New York has it. And I just, um, I just had someone lick my face pretty much. It was, uh, it was not six feet apart, if you can say that. We're here in the office. This episode, as always, is uh, sponsored by Dat Chat. Now, Joey, you do use Dat Chat. I just downloaded it again today. Again, that's because you used it so much you had to get rid of it and then re-download it? No, I got a new phone. He got a new phone. So Dat Chat, for those of you who don't know, it's an awesome new social networking and messaging app that a bunch of us here at Barstool are now using. Joey's holding it up to the camera right now. Snapchat on steroids. Decide uh, who gets to see your messages. Decide how long they're there for. You cannot screenshot on the app. That's the big selling point here. That day point I saw my picture was Grundle this morning. And and we couldn't screenshot it. And think about how, now that would have got you a job here. Because, you know, you blackmail the boss with a shot of his Grundle. Something at the, uh, the National Enquirer. Okay. National Enquirer. You send that Grundle shot over. And next thing you know, Joey's here. He's at the top of the payroll next to Big Cat. Okay. okay? Um, so we do have uh, Dat Chat sponsoring the show. And you can download the app right now. Join our show page out and about. Chicks in the office. Everyone, we're talking on it, people. Um, and it's great. It's very secure. You send drunk texts. Okay. Yeah. They can't screenshot them. Good. Forget WhatsApp. Forget Snapchat. This is the new way to message. It's the way that everyone. It's the way of the future. It's the way of the future. Everyone here is using Dat Chat. Download Dat Chat for iPhone and Android. Excuse me, and Android in the App Store right now, or go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info. Now Kyle Rittenhouse is on there, correct? Kyle Rittenhouse is on there. Jelaine Maxwell is on there. Yep. Uh, who else is on there? Tico Torres. Tico Torres. Tico Tex is on there. Caitlyn Jenner is on there. Mm -hmm. We're all on there. Um, And we love it. So again, go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info and download datchat for iPhone and Android. Now. I'm not not supposed to be eating these things. Can you get these away? Okay. So if you're not watching on YouTube, I I went to the store and I got a couple treats. We got some poinsettias. We have some sugar donuts. We have some literally sugar donuts. We have some black and white cookies, y'all. Black and white divided like the country. Okay. We have some chocolate chips. We have some pumpkin uh, pie. Some full fat apple cider from Almost Orchards. We got some full fat best by January 20. Okay. Um, And... And we're enjoying our Christmas show because this is, it's the end of the year. 2021 is almost over. And if and feels- Joey still isn't on payroll. Oh my God. Don't fucking get me started. We're going to talk about that in our, in our resolution segment. We're also going to do a Yankee gift swap at some point during the show. We also are going to talk about the top Pornhub uh, searches of the year. And we're some gonna- surprising news in that. Very surprising Let's- news. Pino was have, at the top. Have some um, Chlorette tablet, Chlorella tablets. Give me a Chlorella tablet. You're supposed to take, take um, three. Okay. I will take these and just, I'm going to actually crush them up and snort them. Yeah. Um, so we got a, we got a packed show for you today. Joey, can you believe that 2021 is almost over and it feels like we're in 2020 with all the goddamn COVID going around? I can't believe it. People are still, people are dropping like flies. Everyone's got it. Do you do resolutions? No. We're going to do some today. I'm going to do, I'm going to say them, but I'm not going to do them. No, of course not. I don't do, you know, I had a resolution last year. What uh, was it? It was to not take my balls out when I pee. And I did that one. I was in a habit. Do you take your balls out while you pee? I take everything out. Balls and dick. Well, when did you put your waistband? How do you hold the waistband up? I think you put the waistband down and then on you your, do on the, your balls. No, between the balls and the cock. Where do you put? When you because if you do, if you pull your balls and cock out over, and it's a tight waistband, then it cuts off the circulation. And I just thought it was a bit. I thought it was extra. Well, I don't wear tight things, Marty. Where do you put your? P- p- waistband? I'm balls in. I'm balls in. See. So where do you pull your dick out of the hole? Sometimes. No, no you don't, Marty. You freak. I sometimes do. Yeah. Out of the hole. See, I never, you unzip and you leave the button done. But what do you do with your hat? I'm trying to think. I mean. Does it, when you do that, doesn't it cut the pee off, circulate the pee off on the tight things around the base of your dick? Why don't you just show us, Marty? (laughs) (laughs) I pull everything down underneath the balls, the elastic band underneath the balls. And that's just because you're into exhibition play? No, but how do you just pull your thing and go like this? Do you have a big cock? Oh, I can't do, that's why I can't do it. Because mine. You have a smaller pishka deal. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to even get the thing over the waistband. And that's because she's a power bottom. Well, I, I like to keep tucked. Oh my God, who's that guy with ripping his shirt open? Where? Passing or bu- bussing. Oh, bussing with the boys. Will Compton, you're Basslin. a fan. So they have a podcast. This is Walker. Oh, Brandon Walker? No, is that Brandon Walker with his hot chest? Is it wrestling? That's ra- yeah, that's Brandon Walker. That's a very, let me tell you something. That's a very generous cartoon because you know Brandon Walker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brandon Walker does not look like his cartoon. Well, I, I remember yesterday the other day I was here and I was, on the, now Nardini called me a car, nicely as she is. Mm. 
I went down there. I left to go get in my car, and then you come out five minutes later, and I'm you're saying he's not in the car. He's not in the car. You look through the window, and I'm on the I'm on the. How did that go? What? Did, so Joey was on the yak, middle of the day. How did it go? It was you? It was Brandon? It was Ron? It was at homophobe sass? Yes. KB Nick was whole presenting um, and, to you and, as you walked and, in. And the um, guy with the mustache. And Jersey Jerry. No, Jersey Jerry and the guy with the mustache. Frank. Rico. No, the, the one, no, the one that jumps off the river and he travels oh, the, Donnie. The wonton Don. Wonton Don. How was it? What did you talk about? We talked about gooning. Well, I was flashing, I was flashing um, KB and he called me and said, why did you just do that to me? So I was like, he goes, how did it go? And there was, we talking about it. I talked about gooning, explained to it. And then, you know, and um, Don, not Don. What's his name? Nick? KB? No, no, no. Brandon. Brandon had a question. Um, you know, he's got like 10 kids. Does he? Yeah, he's a ton of kids. Well, that's why he was saying, when you finish, I said, that's the whole point of gooning, you don't finish. Which is really shocking that Marty didn't know that considering we've been talking about gooning nonstop for three months and he didn't know what the fuck it was. It yeah. just seemed weird that a bar full of people, not a single person came. Well, that's all that felt weird to well, me. Well, if you come, you do it in this depository. Okay. No, that's why they asked you to go to the after party. That's where it all happens. <laughs> exactly. Um, but it went well. You think that you hit it off with those guys? Could would yeah, you leave so. would you leave me for them? Um You would leave me for most people. Well, I don't know what they're talking. They don't have they're, they're really talking about anything. They're, they're and they're very monotone and sl- they speak yes. very slow. Yes. They speak low, 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 low. <laughs> And I'm like I'm a fast talker. That's but that's like their thing. Like Owen is the world's slowest talker. I don't know if Owen is doing like a character. He's very slow talking. Guy. They're all very slow talking. I felt like I would took I took a hit of K. I thought it was in a K hole. Now we're talking about ketamine, y'all. People were doing ketamine at the Goon Fest. Have you ever done it? Yeah. What does it do to you? I'm afraid to. I'm too old to. I'm 32 years old. I'm too old to try a new drug. Oh no, I loved it. I, um, it was it was like it was like you know a Xanax snorting Xanax. You've done it's that as well. Very, yeah, I've done it all. What about H? Oh no, with needles, junk. No, no, I never did that. That was a test. I might have right. snorted it. <laughs> powder, it, powder, powder. The yeah. tunnel in the 90s was a wild place. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it I, went well, and you want to go back. And I'd you, go back. You know, I want, I want to go back in there. I, want, I have a few things I want to do once I, once I um, make office. You know, I'm a little bit frustrated, to tell you the truth. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be frustrated, too. With the, with the process of bringing you on board has frustrated me. And don't get me wrong, I... There's a new there's a new girl that got just got well, hired. Well, that's the thing. I like... Who's I, that new bitch? She was in the office. Who? Bitch, and Nardini put a whole thing about her out. Jordan Woodruff. Yeah, Jordan Woodruff. Yes, the the new celebrity reporter. Even though I've been, you know, writing about celebrities for fucking five years, she's a new celebrity. Reporter. How much she cool get though. paid? Who knows? I love Jordan. That's no shade. I love Jordan. They're great. Whatever. I don't know her yet. We so. hire we hire all these women. Can I, we hire please one gay guy? <laughs> Honestly, can we hire one fucking gay guy? I'm not even a real guy. It's like I have I have the You're hormonals s- of a woman. Yeah, it, we can we he can pass he can now he can I'm passable. Now he's pass <laughs> now he's passable, and I actually have a present for him later that's going to make him extra passable. But I'm a little frustrated because it's just it's the it requires a tremendous amount of patience to bring people on board here, uh, and I've like exhibited patience, but it's well, just, you know, I thought it was funny because and the people, the comments online get Joey paid. It's not my fucking decision to get Joey paid. I'm pushing as much as I can. We know Stop what you, cursing. What do you want me to do? Just go run into Dave's office and demand that they pay Joey. Like I've, I'm trying like to get him on. It's, it's well, going Sass, to happen. It's just taking longer than we than homophobe we Sass. Um, yeah. Dave Porter went on, on record this week saying that he was started six months ago. He got a contract and he was working, and now six months after, he asked him for double, double, the, <laughs> double the salary, and he said, well, "That's the that's the most the most ridiculous ask I've ever had in twenty years." I said, "Well, wait till I get in, the, in your uh, my, in the hot seat." Okay, <laughs> no, 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 now, no, I know he told me you want to hear her ridiculous. Now, what is Nana? Go- now, what is Nana going to uh, ask for? I know you're gonna have a rider. Yeah, it's gonna I, be first class. It's gonna be Ritz Carlton. It's gonna be. Yes. We're not staying at a Hyatt. No, I'll have, um, it'll have to be first class. It'll have to be accommodations. I want you know, I want fifty percent of the merch up front. I want. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, Physically, what do you need for your space for your cube? For my cube. You're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna need some sort of like hormonal or uh, like. Oh no! I need, need no. like. No, I'm talking like furniture wise. Oh, I need an ice machine. Yes, <laughs> because the one you have here sucks. It's always over, over frozen. It's like in the fridge. You need a real. What kind of bar doesn't have an ice machine? It's okay. like we have, we have a professional bar here, and there's no like you couldn't make a, a, someone a. Uh, you know, a gin and tonic if you if, if you wanted to. There's like no, literally no ice machine. Anymore. Do you need a humidifier? Do you need a chaise lounge? Do you need an area rug? Do you need a desk all to yourself, your own row? Do you need, who do you want to sit next? If you could sit next to anyone in the office besides me or Marty, obviously, who would you sit next to? Um, I probably sit next. Don't to- Don't say Billy football. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to get anything worked, any work done. <laughs> well, and that's I would sit he's- next to con- Content Kate's daughter because Alex. I'd sit next to Alex. Do you know why? Um. 
And you know why? Um, because I would be able to, to get anything I need. Okay. Okay. I don't I, know so, what that means. I, it means I can, I can peek at her, her credit card and get a, start ordering things online. Okay. <laughs> now, now, you go, ma'am, you can leave that card here. I'm going to add it to my Apple Pay. Yeah. Um, who else? I would sit there. I would sit with, um, you know, who's always very nice? Um, that Glenny Balls is always very polite. Glenny is the best. Very nice. I like to sit next to him because also I would look skinnier. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now, that was not a read. <laughs> who else? Who else? Who else? Krug. Oh, Krug. I love him. No, you wouldn't be able to get anything done. Krug yeah. is Rudy. You wouldn't be able to get anything done. You'd be too horned up. Rudy. Yeah. Um, just basically where, basically not as far as, as a big hat's desk, but like that toward that area. Okay. And but now, not, not as far left. Maybe in between. You know where I'd want to sit? In where? between, in between feet and big cat in that section. Oh, well, that's actually kind of far away from me. So. Well, because I want to be able to have um, an eyes view of the main stage. Right. Because you never know. To the bar the you kitchen. never know when you're going to have to get on main stage. Yeah. And she needs a clear path. Yeah. To now, the if she, now she's got a strut. She's got to get up there and yeah. strut. And she wants an entrance. She needs natural light. Now she's going to be backlit, which is gorgeous. Yeah. And, and that's also because of the lighting over there. Because there's just, the studio lights are right over there. Now, are we going to be doing selfies at the desk? Yeah. Are there everything. I mean, I'll be, I'll be doing things. Now, Stas said he didn't do anything for the first six months. and now But now he's doing something. That's what he wants to get paid. Now, and I did just get a new cameo request. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I just need the basics. I mean, I would have to have a comfortable chair. Okay. I need a bigger computer than that. I need a 16 inch. Okay. Now, now you need a 16 inch for a few things. Okay? Yeah. I need that. Um, I need a fan. What a a shade fan. No, like a fucking blowing fan, like a, a desktop Dyson. Um, what else? Diet Coke. No one has Diet Cokes here. You need Diet Coke yeah, to uh, start here. Why is there no Diet Coke here? <laughs> Who does the beverage order? Uh, Enrique. Yeah, well, he's not doing a great job. Okay. There's, there's, really, there's really water. You, energy your first day in, you go, I want to talk to you about the performance of some of your <laughs> some of your employees here. Well, you know, I think, like I said, it will happen. Uh, commenters and whatever, get off my fucking dick about it. We're working on it. Please get now, off my dick about it. It's going to happen. It's just like... I'm just like, I don't know where else I can like go. Like I've pushed it to the point like where I can push it enough. Like we have the Arizona bowl coming up. Like I'm not going to say that a football game. It's our first foray into live sports. So we have the broadcasting rights to a, a bowl game, a college bowl game. And it's like, I'm Are not you going to go there. No, I'm not going. It's like, I'm not going to push for you to do it now because everyone's doing a million fucking things, but it's like, okay. And like, I don't want to be like an afterthought. Like they need to sit down and think about what they're doing when they hire me on here. Yeah. And it's like, Okay, then the new year we're going to bring you on, but it's like the time. So it's like, I guess I just wait until the new year to bring it up again and then just yeah. keep doing what I'm doing. It's just, it's, I have a tough time diplomatically like doing things. I have a tough time like being patient in the process. Mm. So what I did today to make up for that was I got you a couple gifts. Okay. okay. <laughs> now it is the holidays, the giving season. Now it is the giving season. So we're going to do a bit of a Yankee swap. Is it a meet and greet with Carmen House? No, he's on Cameo now. No, the, uh, no, he's not. No, if he is, you know, I'd buy the first one to buy it for you. Look right now. If he's on Cameo, <laughs> I would die. Joey, you look right now. If Kyle Rittenhouse is on Cameo, I if, would die. If he is, we're buying it live on the show. Um, while he's doing that, I'm going to talk to you guys about better help. This podcast is sponsored by better help. Go to betterhelp.com. Uh, slash out and about for 10% off of your first month. What BetterHelp is, is it's customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Why invest in everything else and not your mind? They've actually partnered with Barstool Sports and are providing BetterHelp uh, for everyone here because, you know, you take care of your mental health and your physical health. They're connected. You feel better. I like to think of therapy like you're brushing your teeth. It's like a, a tooth brushing of the mind. You get it clean. You feel better. Uh, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash out and about. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about. Now, in lieu, is that that's not Kyle Rittenhouse. That's a dick. That's not a dick. Oh, sorry. So is he not on there? He's not on there yet, but I'm I'm going to actually suggest him because you know anyone I suggest you should suggest, the show. Imagine if Rittenhouse got hired. <laughs> I get ten percent. I get ten percent of their sales for the year if if they if on I sign cameo. them on. Stop. If I sign them on, ma'am. Now I'd sign you on, but I don't want making them many. Okay. okay. You know what? Now now that's called the read, y'all. Um, I. In, li in lieu of a salary, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've purchased you some gifts. We had talked about uh, buying each other a couple things. I told Joey, I got you a couple things. You, ma'am, 
You did. So let's do a little fucking. Uh, do you want to do Yankee Swap now and then resolutions? What is a Yankee Swap? It's where you like you. It's not. We're not actually going to do it. But Yankee Swap is where everyone has gifts in a pile. Yeah. And then in the, you go and you pick out of the pile, and then you can either pick from the new pile where you don't know what it is, or you pick. From, now this could be tough to do with two people. Yeah. That's a white elephant mm-hmm. gift. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's uh, the same, same fucking thing. thing. So Different let's do, let's do a gift exchange now, and then we'll talk resolutions. Okay. So I'm going to give you. I went, so my gifts are from the Rainbow Room. That bag is from CVS. I bought the same one. It actually might be the one you left here. It is. <laughs> oh, the back is glit. I didn't know the back Well, the good up. news is the bag isn't the present. Okay. Um, Joey, can I reveal them to you? Yeah. I, a reveal? Yeah. A reveal. So the first thing that I got, Joey, um, I want you to open this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Open it right now. <laughs> I already know. Open it right now. <laughs> open it. Are we going to tea slam? Open it. Open it. <laughs> we. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yes! Tell the people what it is. I got my. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> it's my very own meth pipe. It's my tea. My tea to slam pipe. Now, how does it work? It says T on it. Yes. <laughs> it no. says T on it. T I for Tina. I think that. Oh, I've got it. Like throwing up. I think. You, I'm so excited. So you put the meth. Now, that's for tobacco, correct? Now, that is for tobacco purposes only. You put the tea in the ball and then you heat the ball up and you go through here. So hold this your mouth. What, what goes in here? Water? If you want. Look at now pretend to heat the Tina. Wait. Something around. <laughs> I am so excited. I told, I, you, I, told you I got you a good one. Okay, now pretend. Now chem slam? Do, show how you do a Tina slam. Now you hate the ball from, um, from underneath. Oh. Nice, Joey. Ooh. But wait, it gets better. I know you're always talking about how, you know, we should be wearing matching outfits and whatnot. So I went ahead and <laughs> I got us matching cock rings. Chem slam and cock rings? Yes. <laughs> now this one, there's translucent. I okay. Let's press on. So we got cock slams. I don't know if that'll fit around your Pishka deal. Is it the same size? We are extra small. Then, now, this size. Is, <laughs> now this is by Hunky Junk. Okay. Marty, do you ever wear a cock ring? I have not ever. Uh, uh, I might need this so I can see. Slightly interested. Slightly interested. Do you want to read what it says? Yeah, read the, read the, the back of the cock ring. The C ring is super stretchy with amazing grip and will, will, it will not roll inside the ring as, oh wait, and it will not roll inside, it will not roll. Inside the ring is a lube channel that keeps H-U-J where you want it. As you stretch, h dry flattens out to stay where you put it. Made of our slick, smooth, strong, plus silicone and TPR. What does all this mean? What is h u j t p r? Silicone, band, band stretch, amazing stretch. <laughs> and you know, there's one more gift in here I want you to have. Wait, which one do you want? Do you want red or? No, it's clear or blue. Clear or blue. Do we put them on now? I guess. I think we put them on now. Pick, Can I ask on. what the point of cock rings are? It, I've never quite got. It keeps you hard. It does, but it also, I guess it feels good as it well. It prevents the blood from going back into your butthole. Now we're going to put these on right now. Cockering. We're doing cockering tea slams. What? Do you want a tea slam? Yeah. I'm so excited about it. Now, do you have a butane lighter? No. Um, I did bring some Tina. Isn't that great? a great thing? I've got you a meth pipe. What did you say to the lady when you bought it? I go, I was checking out. Oh, there's one more gift in here. It's a, it's, a, it's an impulse purchase. Yes, there's one more gift in here. Well, like most tea heads, I did an impulse purchase. And I got daddy some new brush. Oh, some, a freshie. A, my stocking stuffer. A freshie stocking <laughs> stuffer. That's poppers. It's a rush poppers, which I know is your favorite. And the big size. And now I got the, now I got the bonus. Oh. Now this is what a perfect gift. Isn't that great? Marty, can you open this? Yeah, what's happening here? I don't want to use my mouth. Marty's got a pen over there. He can stab through the middle and open it. No, I'm not trying to do that. What if I get pregnant? I'm going to put, no, a uh, t- uh, cock ring. We're going to put our cock rings on. I'm so excited. Isn't hey. that great? You got a meth pipe? No, I'm afraid to post this because I'm going to get shadow banned on Instagram. No, everyone does Tina. I'm actually very interested if YouTube's going to demonetize this because there's not drugs in it. Well, well we don't know it's what it's a this gray is. area. It's a gray area. Well, we said Tina. We didn't, you know. <sighs> But are you happy with your meth pipe? I'm, this is the best present I got in all year. Oh my god! I'm so excited that I have this now. Am I putting this on? I don't think. Can it can you do? Fit. I can't. I'm tucked. You are tucked. <laughs> yeah. He, now here's the thing. He always I, comes in tucked. I can't. I can't. Did you get me a gift? I'm gonna try and put this on right oh, now. Oh yeah. Oh, you got me. J- I got you whistle pig piggyback whiskey. So, so speaking of pig, now this is a chem pig. Okay. <laughs> now this is a whistle pig. This is this is actually a whistle pig and, right here. And that's because Listen. you know I love whiskey. That's so I nice. Whiskey, so this is aged six years. And it's American oak barrels. American. 
Mm-hmm. Now, this is what young Kyle drinks. And we're and you notice we are not kneeling to this flick, okay? Now, I will put the cock ring on it so it don't get a tumble. That's wonderful. So I've gotten Joey a uh, Tina Pipe, cock rings, and uh, whistle pig. Now, Joey, um, I... If you remember, we ordered something uh, a while back. Many the, moons ago. On the internet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that does not work. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're saying, maybe you're saying, now I'm T-slamming the cider, y'all. Okay. <laughs> now, this is, uh, now this. <laughs> Shelly is actually currently tea slamming cider through the thing. Uh, <laughs> this must be one of those fancy bendy straws. Now, <laughs> this is what you this is what you call a visual episode. Look so, at, look at, look at, look at. If what? you're not on the out and about YouTube, oh my god! If you're not on the out and about YouTube, for the love of Christ, uh, go to the out and about YouTube and watch us do uh, some tea slams now. More importantly than this, uh, we ordered silicone tits from China a couple <laughs> months ago. And if you know that what Biden did with the supply chain has been a disaster. Uh, luckily today, the tits had come in. Joey has Before not, Santa. Joey uh, took a quick peek, peek, peek at them earlier. I have not let him see them yet. Joey, you wanted low hangers or- <laughs> I, <can't wait> to- <laughs> I cannot with this meth pipe. This is the best thing I could ever gotten. I, I, like Nicole's got one. I, I wanted a laptop. This is so much better than a laptop. I love how we're trying to we're trying to be serious. I'm like actually explaining that I bought him tits and he's drinking cider out of a meth pipe. What is this? Show? I am never drinking anything else besides Will you mind? stop? I can't even No, you don't mind, do you? I'm just gonna get lost. Okay, for the love of Christ. Whatever had leftover met drugs in it, and I'm like, fucking get Lucky you. Up. Do you want your tits? Do you want high yes, tits? Yes. High tits or low tits? I want the one with the neck. So, Joey, you also brought a negligee, correct? So, Joey said that he was afraid that this was going to tran- those that these tits were going to trigger her, her gender dysmorphia a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And so he brought a negligee. He's going to put on the tits. We're going to give them to him right now. Now, why did we order these tits? Because I feel like I was tricked into it by you. Well, because I wanted to have the guys, I wanted to have straight boys touch my boobs. And this is just a fetish for you? Yeah, I mean, is it? Yeah, and this this is like Joey's way of like hooking up with a straight guy. Like, what if I put tits on? Yeah, and now I'm gonna strap a fake pussy on, a pussy hat, and go right to the march. Jetski said he would titty fuck one of these. You think? That's, if, yeah. You think if you wore one, he would pull it out? So these are low hanging G's. Okay. Now if that's you know, a G cup. Now this is a G. They don't look like G's. You know, I'm so gay. It like actually grosses me out a little bit. Like squeezing the booby. Really? So are you gonna put on? Look at how ha- look at how hungry she is. For the <laughs> you have to take your top off and then put them on, and then you're gonna put on a sexy Santa outfit. So right now we're doing a full transformation. Uh, we're gonna go into sexy. We're Santa going class. to holiday transformations. Yes. Yeah, so when we we'll come right back, back in one second, Joey's gonna have titties on his sexy outfit. I'm gonna do the same. Love you both. All right. Well. We're back. I'm uh, I'm in a negligee that Nana provided, as well as a Joan Rivers Joan Rivers mother's necklace, my dead mother's Joan Rivers necklace from QVC, and I have a pair of uh, low hanging G's, which are are sweating profusely. Joey, you know you are wearing now. This is a swimsuit I got at the Willow Tree. Okay. Okay. And I paired it with now fashion knows no age. Uh-huh. Okay. Now I could I, I paired it with a pair of suspenders, which are very on trend, and my Groucho Santa pant. Ooh, is- give us a spin, girl. Which is, now this is a style. Now, oh. now, now I don't care if you're 50 or 500. <laughs> These are going to be in fashion. Now, uh, n- oh, look at her go. She looked, now you're, I noticed you're bouncing your tatas. I got a little pep in my step, especially during the holiday season. Quick question for you. Is the, These are available on the Willow Tree only. Correct. Now we're doing free ads for Willow Tree, y'all. Don't get mad at me, Deirdre. Um, now, just a quick question. Is the reason we got the tits because you want to wear these just like, this is something that you've wanted and like they were kind of pricey and so you wanted me to pay for yeah, them. Yeah, for okay. sure. So this is not like really for anything other than the fact that like this will help you feel comfortable while you like go to sleep. Well, I've, I know I've been very, very candid about my gender dysmorphia. Is it dysphoria or dysmorphia? Dysmorphia. I got them both. Okay. Okay, one and two. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> um, did you used to do, when you did drag back in the day, did you wear titties? Cover up that left areola girl. Oh. No, they no we don't no more just back then. Actually, we had chicken cutlets. We wear like chicken cutlets. What does that mean? It's like a little bra insert that the women used to wear. It's at, 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 we used to put it into our Victoria's Secret bra with socks and stuff. So for the so for you, this is step up. Okay, I step my pussy up. <laughs> you step your. You know what's so funny about these is I'm like 
I'm sweating. Look, I'm sweating very much. So, well, now, now you sweat on the way to the bathroom. Okay, I do, and we both sweat very much. Um, this is, you know, I think that we need to oh, look, wear these break up, around break up the illusion, the office all the time. What do you think would happen if we walked around the office in cities? I think there'd be boners popping up everywhere like asparagus. I agree. Jetski said he would titty fuck one of these. Hopefully mine. While you were wearing them? What, did you put them on the counter and do it? I don't know. I've seen, have you ever seen a porn like that where they like put like the face? Yes, I watch it. It's, 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 you have to go, it's on uh, Hepsi. It's on Hepsi. X Hamster. It's on X, you watch X Hamster, you poor motherfucker? Yeah. No, it's Pornhub only. X Hamster has nothing. X Hamster is a good The best one. X Hamster is better. Is that because they have amateur? It's the best one. They have more recommended videos. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's the best one. So there's a guy, like a guy, it's supposed to be a straight guy. Right. Comes over and fucks his his straight buddy's uh, um, fake uh, sex doll. And he just films on like, for coming on like, you know, fucking sex doll. But they're actually two gay guys, like fake, like acting. And that's, and that's how we, that's why we got these dance. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to, yeah, we do watermelon play. Well, it's funny. You would actually send me a topic um, before we started. It was most searched gay terms for Pornhub. So this is the most searched gay terms for Pornhub. Can you guess number one, Marty? Gay terms for Pornhub. Gay terms. This is, we're doing a a segment. Hentai. Big cock. (laughs) Uh, Big cock. Uh, No, there's BBC. But Which, that's lower on the list. Number one. Now that's that stayed that stayed straight. That that is not up on the polls. That's number fourteen. Uh, c- keep going, Marty. What else do you have? Ooh, uh, variations like I don't know, big dick. Uh, ain't no. You're ain't right. Up. What show have you been working on for the past four? Okay, months? let me give you a hint. Goon- let me give yeah, you a hint. Gooning. He, no, I do appreciate gooning. Is gooning on the list? No. Okay. No, did uh, I make the list? Now there is a discrepancy here. There's a there's a very big discrepancy because gooning is not on the list, but Pinoy is number fucking one, two, three, four, five, six. Pinoy? Yeah. What is that? I think it's like uh little penis? It, no, it's like South Asian, like Filipino is Pinoy. Oh Pinoy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um <laughs> Filipino. Yeah. Filipino. I know the number yeah, one. There's thing. no heterosexual cross. Okay, God, it, this I, is I, I'll, I'll give you an idea. Let's I'm gonna do a quiz. Let's give Marty a pop quiz to yes. get the answer. Now Great. it is a small, a slender homosexual. A young, slender homosexual. Oh, that's Twink. Yeah, yeah. Well, number yeah. one. Number is one twink. is Twink. Ah, climbed ah. seven spots from last year. Yeah. Uh, number two is it's a feminine uh, hygiene man. product. No, it's a fe- <laughs> it's a feminine man. Faggot. Close. Oh, queer. Femboy is number two. Oh. Now number three, he said as a joke, was hentai. That's up <laughs> nine spots from last year. Now you know these are all straight guys googling this. No gay guys googling femboy or hentai or hentai or what is hentai or Twink? What even is hentai? It's hentai like is crazy in Japanese. An, just anime porn. Wait, but uh, you've watched anime. I've watched cartoon porn. <laughs> yeah, I watch cartoon porn. No, before. I have too. So we have femboy, uh, twink, femboy, hentai. Now this next one is the most. These are top terms for uh, most search gay terms on Pornhub 2021 year in review. Is Kyle Rittenhouse? <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse is actually number number six. Uh, number six. Six on, six six on the list. No, uh, it's straight. Obviously, yeah. I thought that would have been higher. That was more. List. Now, why did you even take your chlorophyll yet? Can you leave- what does chlorophyll do? It's an algae. It just makes your insides good. Do you want to read the bag? I'm bag on chlorophyll. You're supposed to take 12. One's not going to do nothing to you. I want your shit to be green. Can I smoke it out of the tea pipe? No, I haven't tried that yet. You heard about that. No, Will- what happened? Will Smith throws up after he finishes with girls because he was having sex with so many girls. Yeah, he was just like disgusted with himself that he was just so Will consumed Smith? by sex. Yes. Yeah. I thought he was married to Will Smith. They have, to Jada Pinkett. They have an open relationship. That's sick. Would you ever be in an open? Absolutely not. I'd rather get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I can't either. I couldn't do open. Even well, I you want never. me to be you want me to be closed down with you. Yeah. Should we do closed play? No, because you're not serious about it. Next topic. Next topic. Okay, we have Twink, Femboy, Hentai, Marty, Wink, if you're okay. Hentai, straight, uh, black. That's number what? Marty, will you say three other words for black, please? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm I'm kidding. Noir, noir. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Japanese, Pinoy, Asian. What's Yayoi? Y-A-O-I. Oh, oh! The Asians have like the middle, like seven categories. Well, you know why? Because Asians can't. There's no porn in Asia. You're not allowed to watch. It's illegal. So when the Japanese businessmen come here, they Google all the shit right away. No, but they're freaks over there. They have like sex robots and everything in Japan. But you can't have porn. They're the kinkiest around. They sell panties. They sell young girls panties in a vending machine. Really? I've been trying to get a pair out for like years now. You should put yours in there. And there's a picture. There's a Polaroid picture of the girl on the front of it. Interesting. It's huge business. Uh, the middle, the Japanese, the Asian cluster is Japanese, Pinoy, Asian, yao, yaoi, mm-hmm. and, 
anime. <laughs> Go, Should I take my Uber home? Please oh, on? Shut up. Anime <laughs> Korean. And then after that, it goes Daddy Massage BBC. Marty's Now, favorite. is this your seamless account or is this the Public actual? Furry, Glory Hole, Gang Bang, Threesome, and Doctor Play. I love Doctor Play. Marty, when's the last time you climaxed? Ooh. Uh, Mine was yesterday. My girlfriend's in the Galapagos Islands. So Doing what? It, huh? Like swimming with turtles and seals and shit. Why didn't so you she's go? rich. Huh? She's I mean, r- rich as fuck. If she's in the Galapagos, you know how fucking hard it is to get there. I have a, I have a, I have a, uh, I don't know about her. A portfolio. highlighter from NARS called Galapagos, and that's oh. expensive. I think I'm gonna say you have a house in the Galapagos. I have a house in Iraq and Virginia, and Virginia, and, <laughs> and Virginia. I have a house in Virginia. <laughs> he loved that. Um, so she's rich, Marty. Uh probably richer than me. Yeah, but I don't really. I really don't know. I really don't. Now know. it's important to note that Marty has had a cocktail today. And well, Joey is dipping uh, his meth pipe. So those are the 2021 uh, most recent porn searches, starting with Twink and ending with Doctor. Joey, have you searched any of them in the year? Please respond appropriately. Yes, I've searched Doctor. Yes. I've not searched Hanoi or Pinoy. Jioi? Nope. Okay. Um, I usually search, I talked about this on my podcast this morning. Oh. I talk about, um, I search Dad Comes, Mature Dad Comes, <laughs> um, MMF Cream Pie. Wait, <laughs> solo. I'm sweating dad. through my tits. Solo dad. <laughs> yep. What else? Rocket shots, thick rope. <laughs> What's rocket shots? Just when they blast off like far. It goes really high. Oh. <laughs> um, that's really all I, I Google. Well, that's quite the collection. Gooning was not on here. Uh, I'm tr- surprised. Do you know what the trending gay topics were? This is us like reaching out to the gay audience right now. Colton Underwood. <laughs> this is us being like, look, we're still gay. Colton uh, Cream Pie. Colton Cream. You know, he, did you hear what Colton uh, yes. said about the locker room? He said he wouldn't shower with guys because he thought he'd get a boner. And I said, I get, now when you look at me, do you get a boner at work? And you said, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Colton's done, right? We don't need him. I'm over it. Yeah. Do we, should we be nasty to him or not? No. I just, I just think he's, I, well, I talked to the podcast earlier saying that. He, though, you know, he's, he's not, he had a little trouble like make acclimating to the gay community. I said, but he had no trouble, um, being a shady faggot, um, and lying. Cause I said that he picked that trade up right away by like saying like he was, he was, he's telling, he's telling fibs and stories all over the internet. Yeah. That's a, that's a trend that, uh, that is, is universal. Okay. Um, trending gay searches, bromance, China. What is it with the Asian stuff? China, bromance, yaoi. I don't I'll even know what that why. is. Twink, moaning, moaning. That's a Joey search. Jim is a Joey search. Verbal. Three, verbal. Verbal is not on I there. I love verbal. Femboy was on there. I think yeah. I could be a femboy. You'd be the femboy? If I tried to. In our relationship, I would be the femboy. Well, you would? I just told someone on the internet that, we, that you don't like me because I am femme. You're not femme. You're, a, you're literally like a butch. Like You have a femme voice. Now, what are you doing here? You're putting a dollar in. Okay. Marty? Do you want to dollar? You know what you remind me of, Joey, right now? What? Uh, have you ever Timmy. seen Jingle All the Way with I see, Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger and Sinbad? Go ahead. Yep. Do you remember that scene when they're fighting all the mall Santas Ooh. and there's that final yes. boss mall Santa? That's Joey. Do you know what we should do? Right, we're going to we're going to do listener we're going to do listener questions. But before we do that, let's talk resolutions, like an actual resolution that you oh. have for 2021. Do personal and then professional. You start kick it off. Personal. Well, I am. Think I, about it. I have to get back. Yep. Into gooning. No, I have to get okay. back on my diet. Okay, go on. I have to get back on my diet. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm just going to go back on my, my high fiber diet that I normally do. A goal without a plan is a hope, my king. No, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harass that guy to get a free membership at the- Equinox. Equinox. If okay. that doesn't work, I'll just, I'll just forfeit the money and join New York sports clubs because I can't afford 250 a month. Okay, and now I want, do want to talk to you quick about diet because last night you did some with Taco Bell. I did. No, what did you? I had a slip up. Um, this is not a slip up, by the way. This is something <laughs> that is like so. How many? Cover your titty. Cover your nips, please. How many? What do you do for your slip up? You ordered Taco Bell three in the morning. No, it wasn't at three in the morning. What I do, what I've been doing is I'm very lethargic. I've been waking up. What time? Depressed. And you know how people do like wake up and have affirmations, like saying you're great. You know you're you're fabulous. You're going to be great. I've never I wake up that, and I yeah. do my things are horrible about myself. I, I say you're so fat. God. You are poor. You, um, you're lazy. You, you're, um, you're, you, um, you not, you know, never amount to anything. You're, what the fuck? you're sloppy. You're, you're fat. You have a gay voice. Uh, that's why my affirmation I do in the morning. Every time I wake up, I do this to myself. Are you being serious? I swear on my mother. Marty, you were shaking your head. You do negative affirmations too. Oh yeah. No, I wake up in a bad mood. 
Oh, yeah. I always wake Very up in typically. a bad I never wake up in a good but mood. But not no. really bad mood, just like bad outlook. Yeah. So I, I literally said those things in my head the second I woke up this morning. But do you do it as a way to motivate yourself? I feel like I do no, that sometimes, do it. but it's like, okay, if you say you're not trying hard and you say you're doing this, you say you're doing that, then it'll motivate you to do it. But all it really does yeah. make you feel worse. No, and I'm saying like, you know, you're a bad friend and you're, you're oh horrible my. to your family. Like I just I said like all these things in my head. And then I um I usually take, I, and then I lay in bed on my phone until about four o'clock, 3.30ish. And then I go to take a nap at four o'clock every day. And then I wake up around like 9 30, 10 o'clock. And then I stay up and watching TV on my phone until five in the morning. And then I go to bed <laughs> and then I wake up at 10. Wait. So I woke up at 10 today. Okay. I actually woke up early because I was excited to um, take out my chlorophyll tablets um, to get my day started. But yeah, so, so I do that. So when I wake up at 9 30, I'm like ravenous because I haven't eaten all day because I let it in beds. And then I'll order like $100 worth of Taco Bell. And I'll eat like a couple things from it and then I'll let it rot in my fridge. So I waste a hundred dollars on Taco Bell. And this is where your money is going. What did you order? What was your go-to order? A, a crunch wrap supreme. No, I didn't get one of those. Um, you got, so you got, now I don't no, the new that. things right now Talk about it's so fucking slammer. They're the grilled cheese burritos. The grilled cheese burritos. Oh my sick. God. It's they're unbelievable. Sick. Like I bit into it. I bought, you're like, this can't be real. It's like, it's unbelievable how delicious something can be like that. With the melted cheese on the tortilla. Yep, and then yeah. the, that sauce that's inside and just like the texture and the everything the double stuffed the du- the double steak gr- uh, grilled um double stuffed grilled cheese burritos i i had a chicken instead i got a couple of those and then i got a couple um chalupas i got a couple <laughs> what kind of chalupas i got a chicken what kind of kind of of chalupas did you got now nana got the supreme okay with a uh, with the sour cream um i got those i just got a whole bag of shit it was like it was like 90 dollars and this is just and I ate like I, I ate like one and a half while I was watching um, Real Housewives of the North Pole and are you I, gonna do more are you gonna eat more when you get home no, I'm gonna throw it out and I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and I'm gonna spend probably two hundred dollars on like um like fancy ass salmon and a um and some like some spinach and then I'm gonna drink wine with it get fucked up and then order diner for six hundred dollars when it's, it's five in the morning <laughs> and I'm gooning. That's literally what's going to happen. So let's get back to that's the goal. That's going to happen. So what's the professional goal? You never even told me. Personal goal and professional. Oh, personally, you told me you want to get in shape. You want to be better healthy, whatever. What's the professional better goal? Better health. Um, I wanna, my personal goals. I also want to um, have a lady come once a week instead of every two weeks. What lady? The cleaning lady. Okay. I want to le- make my house less cluttered because that guys <laughs> tell me that they don't like me because I have too much stuff. Um... I want to, um, <laughs> I want to travel the I, world, the world. Um, we should go to, we should do a trip to the middle East. Okay. Me and you, we could go to, we and could Berka do play with our tits. Yes. We should do like burger play and tits. We could go to like Iraq, Iran, Pakistan. Then we could do like Darfur. Like we could hit like, yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> That's not the middle East. But. Yeah. Um, but then <laughs> why, uh, oh, my, my personal goals is I want to, um, have my, I want to work on, I start really getting focused on my cookbook this year. I want to. Um, cut all ties to Barcelona sports. I want to <laughs> go to Forever 21 in Times Square and apply to be um, an assistant <laughs> oh manager. No, you, <laughs> Joey, Joey, you at Forever 21 in Times Square. Yeah, you found a size? <laughs> I want to get a job. I want to get a job at the Willow Tree. <laughs> you as assistant buyer, as you as an assistant manager at Forever Twenty One in Times Square is the most on brand thing I've ever heard in my life. Can now, I, did you, now, did can you go I, on your break? Did you go on break? I told you you got thirty minutes. You come back at thirty one. You're getting rid of. Okay. <laughs> he'd run. He'd run that ship so tight like he's in the navy. Okay. <laughs> but that's beautiful. Don't smoke out of your- I hear those sleigh bells ring it up. Jing, 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 jing. You know it's lovely when the four sleigh ride together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Let's go. Let's start the show. I've lost control. Uh, now, I know you don't like sugar, but can I introduce you in a bite? No, I can't. I'm on a diet. I can only have a chlorophyll tablet. Now, give Nana a pellet. <laughs> I'm like a gerbil today. Assistant manager at Forever 21. Now, did you wash your hands? No, I can't. I can't chance it. After Tico, look at my face. Okay. My prof- my personal goal. <laughs> Professional goal. Become an assistant manager at Forever 21. <laughs> in Times time Square. Now. Stop. We have a doorbuster deal. Okay, y'all. <laughs> 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 I can't even look at you. Uh, Mr. Portnoy. 
What if, what if he walked in right now? Would he ask me to leave? He's not even here. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> you go, not miserable. Not miserable. Can we put the girl from the willow tree on the back of our, Shut our, the fuck our up. Kyle Rittenhouse? Why is Shut that the thing? We need Kyle Rittenhouse on the back. Personal goal is to sleep with Kyle Rittenhouse. Yes. Profe- professional goal. I think is my he 18 yet? Professional goal. Is he 18 yet? He's yeah, fucked, R- though. We know that. No, Rittenhouse is 18. We know he's fucked. He's What do you mean fucked? He's talking he's about He's had it. sex. He says he likes thick Oh, women. he fucks, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's old enough. Would if, you, if, would you, if, if there's grass on the field, play ball. That's what I say. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> That means if he has pubic hair. I no, I got it. Would you fuck him? Would you bottom for him actually? Yeah. Top for him? Um, if there was cameras and there was like money involved. <laughs> and you know who I would fuck. Okay, here we go. Who? Oh. Okay. We're gonna have to bleep that. Oh yeah, bleep that. He hates me as it is. Well he hates all gay people. I know. I, I, think, I sent I, you that rant. I think by <laughs> you sent me that you sent me that tweet from two thousand and ten. Uh, I think we can all, you know, context. Oh, side news. Has it? What are you talking about? Has it COVID? Oh, so you heard that from how? On his Instagram, he said he had to cancel something, and that's why he didn't say why. But why do you cancel things last minute? Unexpected things happen. You would do super shredder play if you had it. No, I I feel horrible. No, yeah, we're kidding. Don't shut this fucking thing down. Can I tell you my professional goal? Wait, can I tell you something about my family and Christmas? Yeah, go ahead, Joey. What is it? My alt right. Yes, I already Crazy, loved it. We're going to have to cut. Obsessed yeah. family is beyond words excited that I'm over here working for Mr. Portnoy. Why? They lo- Don't associate does- us with the crazies. No, he said, I just love him. He goes, he does <laughs> such a good things. He does such nice things. on the. I see him all over the news. He does um, all these things. And like, you know, and he's on Fox News all the time. I always watch him on Fox now he, News. Now he is on Tucker. Yeah. So he's good friends with Tucker. She goes, oh, he, he's such a nice gentleman. Joey, what a great guy he could work for. He is a nice gentleman. I know. I love him. Romantically. No, professionally, which leads me to my goal, my professional goal, which I strike, bring it up every time I can. It's to fucking get Joey on the payroll here. Hmm. Patience is- A virtue. Is a virtue. And I am constantly afraid- <laughs> I'm, I'm constantly afraid that Joey- Are you able to put a bar up when I do that? I can, yeah. How easily. do you know how to do all this? Uh-huh. I, like ta- I taught myself how to learn. Will you teach me how to do, um, if I, I'll tell you, hook you later. Okay. I'll talk. <laughs> Sidebar, he interrupted my very important goal. My goal here is to get you hired, Joey, because we can do a lot with Out and About. I'm thinking about the YouTube page. We have Out and About the show. Then we have Out and About Joe, get Joey a beauty page. Launch a beauty line under him. He does makeup for the girls in the office. Out and About Adventures for Pride. We go places. Yes. They send us places. Now, I know Nana wants a vacation. Okay? I do. So they send us there. There's, I'm all ready. Look at my costume. There's so much that we can do with this brand. And yeah. I remember- Red carpet interviews. Red carpet interviews. And I remember Gaz saying to me before, before he had his meeting, he's like, one of my slides in this deck is like how to grow the gay brand. And he was sitting there talking to us. We were and I there. Go, um, hello. I go fucking hello, Joey and me. Like a little bit of fucking put the tiniest bit of muscle behind us and like a little bit of thought. I get there's other things that, you know, like are making money and it's the here and now. But I really think that there's an opportunity to. Yeah, we exist not just not only in June. OK, yeah, <laughs> we're enough. evergreen. OK, and speaking to evergreen now at the Wheel of Tree, we are given 20 percent off. <laughs> the bananas lost. The- I was in such a good rant and you fucking. You, you want to get me hired professionally? No, what? I want to get you hired because in all seriousness, there's a lot you can do with the, oh, be- the with the beauty space. Food. Food. Beauty. The gay stuff. Pride. All this. We can do everything. This podcast is growing. It's like, just can we please like get him on so we can take the chains off? Because right now, it's not fair for me to keep having Joey come in here on a weekly basis and then ask him to do more, even though it's on like the tip of it's my- It's not t- fair for you. No, I'm saying it's not fair for both of us to be like on the tip of my tongue. To work for free? No, I know. But I'm saying like on like the tip of the tongue to be like, we should do this and this and this. I can only have you do so much like for free before we start like expanding. What I'm saying is we just need a little, a little bit of payroll and then take the chains off and just watch us flourish. Watch us bloom like a flower. Yeah. Because there's a lot we can do with. Not much resources needed. Yeah, it's we're just, self-sufficient. We're self-sufficient. I mean, look at us now. Yeah. Hello. I mean, look what we've accomplished so far. We've bought in tits. And it's not even noon. We bought in tits from China. It's not even noon. I've had two cocktails. No, you think this has the China virus on them? I don't believe so. Okay. The, the com- China, China Communist Party virus? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
the Wuhan Weezer, as we like to call it here. <sighs> so does that was that inco was that incoherent, Marty? My point is, I just want to get them paid so we can do more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for I that. I agree. What is your um, personal goals? My personal goal is to be healthy physically, to continue in the gym. <laughs> stop with your debts. Should we stop drinking so much? Yes, and start drinking more Tina. Well, it'll keep you fed. My personal goal is to get fit. It's also to not be so hard on myself, to not stress as much because I'm very hard on myself. I stress constantly to maintain a schedule is very important to me to a certain degree and to also care and continue to try and to not get down on myself. Can you be I, nicer to your parents too? Well, I'm not, I'm not mean to my parents. Are you not? No. Are you? I only have one. My, my other one's dead. Do you say mean things in your head about the dead one? No. Oh, I don't know. Maybe sometimes you get upset about it. Hmm. So that's my goals personally. What's another? Per Let's give each other goals. What should? What would your goal be for me? My whole. Other, other, <laughs> Marty, your goal for me, Marty. Uh, oh no, you no. Know, my goal for you would be be more mask. Sem, no, fem. No, sub. No, Sp I want to do other Sis. things with you besides just um, drink at a gay bar. Like what? Like watch movies and sleepovers. <laughs> Dinners at home. Walks down the aisle. <laughs> um, <laughs> vacations to go up. I asked you to go on to fucking Mexico. Okay, we can go there, but it's not very safe for the gays there right now. Um, just those normal things. Like what? Meet my father. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a real goal, please. What would your goal be for me? To do fun stuff and hang out okay. more outside of work and outside of drunk binges. I'm all for that. I want to cut. You know what? I want to cut out drunk binges. Me too. Should we? Should we become really healthy? No, I mean, not that healthy, but like healthy enough. Yeah, like we'll like we'll like we'll switch to like vodka sodas and well, that's what we drink anyway. We um, drink mostly everything. Maybe we should start eating like lean protein and vegetables. Ah, uh, let's not get crazy. You know, what my goal for you is what? I don't know if I have one actually. Now that I think about it, Marty, do you have a goal for Joey? Ooh, Ten for Joey, I don't yeah. know. weight what? loss. Weight loss. I wouldn't say that. No, my goal know. is for you to not. My goal is for you to get your fucking spending habits under control. Well, my other goal for you is to actually get some spending habits into your life. Like, see, we're complete I, opposites. I don't spend. <laughs> he spends. We, I want we need a to, healthy medium for both. Well, I'd like you to like. I'd like you to go out to dinners more with me, and because I love going, not because not for romantic things, I and mean, we're going to do that anyway. Because I, that's my life. If, if food is my life, and I love going and exploring and trying new things. In and out of the bedroom. Okay. Well, you know what's great for food, Joey? Hello Fresh. Oh, I love it. Hello Fresh sponsors you know you, this it, podcast. You know what? 14 free meals. For we get 14 free meals. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. You need to do more HelloFresh so you're not spending fucking $600 a night on goddamn And I'm not Bell. wasting all this food. Now, if I, if I start buying more HelloFresh, you start coming over more, I can make healthy dinners for us in under 20 minutes on the table, and then we can watch movies afterward and not spend so much money. Save money, eat healthy, don't waste food, and we get a movie night, too. And we get a movie night, too. And they have, they have a ton of recipes. They have stuff like, you know, balsamic and, you know, fig beef tenderloin all the way to pecan Now, that was your nickname in college, correct? Fig beef tenderloin? That was that was my nickname in college, y'all. So, it's all it's all calorie smart, gourmet options. They have vegetarian. They have stuff for every The craft burgers week. are great. The craft burgers are delicious. Uh, and it tells you exactly what you need and how to make it. Um, we love HelloFresh. We love that they're on board with this. Uh, send us some stuff, HelloFresh, if you're, if you're listening right now, because we really like it. But if you don't... Don't, that's fine too because if you go to hellofresh.com slash out about 14 and you go down about 14 you get up to 14 free meals and three free gifts now the gifts will not be a tina pipe some pumpkin pie and some rush but they will be something uh equally as uh delicious and important so again go to hellofresh.com slash out about 14 and you go down about 14 for up to 14 free meals and free three and three free gifts uh, thank you to HelloFresh. Joey, let's finish the show on a couple listener questions right now. We'll bang through these real quick. Uh, first off, from Cecilia Ibera. Joey, would you rather top Santa or bottom for an elf? I'd rather oh. I'd rather bottom for an elf. Are the presents and the, the gifts the same? That's a, yes. What a great question. That's from Cecilia Ibera. Cecilia, what a great question. I'm going to- You're going to top Santa because you like a daddy. I'm bottoming for an elf. I want to bottom for an elf. Yes, yes. we do. Because you know it'll be like a little tinky winky right in the, right in the pink eye. Okay, ma'am. Uh, next question. Worst gift you've ever received from at, from at 
Colandria. Worst gift I've ever received was two years ago on Barstool Radio. Francis Ellis thought it would be funny to get me like some very gay like gag gifts. Gag gifts. He got me like some panties. The lube was great, but I was like, what the fuck is this? It was embarrassing. It was awkward. Um, but he tried though. What was the worst gift you've ever got? It wasn't the worst gift. It was the, it was the, uh, the gift, the meaning behind the gift was the wrong thing. I want like, and, and when we were kids, you get one big gift every year. A goon. You get one big gift every year from your parents yeah. and then you get a bunch of other shit. So my one big gift I wanted was this digital camera. Mm. I got my digital camera. Okay. That wasn't the problem. The problem is that my sisters got the exact same digital camera. Man, she's jealous queen. And that wasn't their, they got their big gift plus my big gift. It's like, so I didn't get like, they got two big gifts. That was my big gift and I got my big gift, but they also got the same gift. So it like took away all the importance of me getting that gift. So it sounds like someone's a little bit jealous. Well, or it sounds like the parents were a little bit homophobic, y'all. Could okay. be. Do you um, want to hear what my yes. gift ideas for you guys were? I yes, mean, I, I, I didn't know exactly we were going to do a gift exchange, but I had an idea we might, and I had, did have a semi-plan for it. I we can do it in the new year. I didn't initiate on it, but uh, yeah, so I was going to get Joey a dildo, oh. and I was going to get Pat a like way bigger dildo. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Well, thanks. Mark. Or one of those, get one of those physical like this. Have Can I update that? my worst gift idea? Another one from Food Science Mike. Can you stop doing curls with your arms? Ma'am, he wants me skinny and gross. Ma'am, what is the best thing you can get your BF for the holidays? Is that best friend or boyfriend? Boyfriend. What is it, a girl to give a guy? Correct. No, it's from a guy. Food Science Mike, he's a guy. What's the best thing you can get for your boyfriend for the holiday? Straight guys don't get each other gifts. Oh, right. Um, I would say... A cast of your penis in a dildo. No. I would say something they wouldn't buy themselves, like um, luxury goods, like a nice cologne, like th that they would never spend the money on for themselves, cologne. things. People that don't wear cologne anymore. No one what wears, do you mean? No one wears cologne. You wear cologne? Yeah. yeah. Guys go, actually wear fucking cologne. Not like yeah. to work, but when I go out socially. Well, yeah. good thing I didn't get you that from Macy's today. You were never going to get me that from Macy's. I was going to. Okay, well, maybe I would like cologne. I'll return it. Okay. You wouldn't wear cologne? I would wear cologne if someone. I've never owned cologne in my life. They don't have a cologne in Only Italians wear colognes. Italians and Jews wear colognes. <laughs> That's probably why. Which explains it. Irish people don't wear colognes. Um, a, a gift. I would get them that. I would get them a um, something um, that the gift that keeps giving year round. Something like if it's your boyfriend, like and he's like, like for you, like I know you would never spend $500 on a dinner. So I would get you a $500 gift certificate just so you can experience the thing without the worrying of paying. Because I want to, I know you would love it, but I know you would never feel, even if you did love it, you would hate the fact that you spent $500 on it. So I would get you it's that true. so you can actually enjoy it. You can really enjoy it without the worry. So get him something that he would never spend his own money on, but you know he would love if he did spend the money on. I love so whether that. it's a gift card, whether it's a trip, whether it's a, an experience or a massage or whatever it is. Do something that he would never spend that money on himself with. That's a great advice. Mine would be a trip, a vacation. Yeah. A vacation is always nice. Even if you pay for the flights and then the hotel. Well, we're both wearing swimwear. We're both wearing swimwear right now. Can you do a little pop? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mine would be a vacation. I think that's always a thrill if you open up an envelope and there's like a ticket in there or there's like a photo of where you're going. That's yeah. fuck, that's very exciting. Joey and I will actually, you know, be in Mexico for New Year's, hopefully, uh, if she doesn't leave me. Now, this leads to our next question from Braxteen Kane. Will Trish and Nana be spending the holidays together? I wish, I wish, but um, we can't because we both have, we both tested positive today for COVID. We got it from Chico Torres. Rico Torres, Rico, that's, Texas. That's What's her name? Tico, Texas. <laughs> she doesn't have it. Would you do New Year's with me? I was hoping we'd do New Year's, but are we going to go away somewhere? I would love to. I want to. I don't want to be somewhere fucking cold. Fuck that. I want to go to Mexico. How much is going to cost me? Now you're. Now I. I just want to. I just want to spend six hundred dollars on a meal. You want to take an airplane? Six hundred dollars on a, on a. I'm literally dripping sweat. Well, I can't fly regular. You know that. That's the issue. I would. I would do. You could get away with a four days in fucking Puerto Rico for a thousand bucks. You go to Puerto oh, really? Rico, you get it, you do a trip there, you get drunk, and you hang out on a beach. Now, do they do advances here? Okay. <laughs> I will need a cash advance from Mr. Portnoy. You go, man, I'm going to need 25000 You know who I can ask for it? Who? Jersey Jerry. Joey was so upset that the fucking Jersey Jerry. I I'm not upset. I just know that I could do the same thing he did. Would you fight in Rough and Rowdy? I have to fight a boy or a girl. You'd fight Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Who would you fight either? You'd fight a boy. You're not going to beat the shit out of a girl. Yeah. But they really fight? Yeah. Now, how many Rough and Rowdy's has there been? I know Donnie Enrique's won? 16. Who else has been doing it? I won. You did it? I did it and I won. I did Rough and Rowdy 4. With who? Me versus a homophobe. Bray Mentier. And how much did you get paid? I I got like 10 grand, but it was like, this one was like still new. Should I fight a homophobe? 
Yes. Fight Marty. Yeah. No, fight Sass. <laughs> fight Sass. <gasps> Joey versus Sass? I kick his ass. You'd beat the shit. What if I fight? You, you, would. Got the, you would beat the shit out of Little Sam. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll in my when I speak down to Mr. Portnoy. Um, rough and rowdy. Okay, last. Can I smell it? Joey. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, Joey. Marty's gonna throw up. That's stop, Joey. Oh my god. Jesus. It doesn't smell like anything. Did you shower today? No. Nan, what's your favorite Kiki cocktail to make at Megan Schefter? Ever. Your favorite Kiki cocktail to make? Well, this must be holiday. I have so many Kiki cocktails I like to make. But this year, this year, I have something special for you. It's going to be. It's a Tina. <laughs> um, should it be holiday cocktail? Yes, holiday cocktail. This I is would from do, Megan Schefter. I would do a cranberry and orange margarita. And how do you make that? You would muddle um, fresh cranberries. Okay. And. A cuties or tangerines? What are they called? I don't know. What are they called? The, 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 um, Tran tangerines. Tanger they're like um, mandarin oranges. Okay. So metal cranberries, um, cranberries, mandarin oranges. mandarin oranges, a little sugar. <laughs> okay, a little booger sugar, um, and then some some bitters, some bitters oh. in there. Muddle those. Add some tequila, oh. some dark tequila this time. Mm -hmm. um, some reposado tequila. Um, you're going to add some fresh lime juice. Some triple sec and a splash of cranberry juice. Shake it up. Okay. Salt the rim. Oh. Garnish with some star anise. Okay. Um, some extra bogs of cranberries and an orange an orange wedge. And who do you serve? How do you serve? What glass? A uh, rocks glass. And would you? Okay, I guess that's really the only question I have about that. I think that's it for listener questions today. Do we have one more on here? Will you be celebrating with masks? I don't know what that means. That's from Fran Salve Twelve. The sheep silencer. Oh yes, will we? No, of course not. Absolutely not. Well, yeah, I don't think I will at my parents' house, but um, on the way there you will. You got to wear one on the train. I don't take the train. Well, nah, here's the money. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would love to break open the books yeah. on Uncle. On um, no, I rent a car. You? Oh, you rent? How far out in Jersey are you? Um, from my house to there, it's about like thirty-five to forty minutes. You rent a car for thirty minutes. Well, yeah, I don't want to sit in the car with a stranger. Yeah, but even if you took, can't you take the train? I could, but I'm not getting recognized. How much? <laughs> Sicko. Okay. Well, this has been a lovely uh, holiday, <laughs> holiday episode. I got Joey Meth Pipe. I'm uh, so excited about this. And uh, and this has been great. We wish all of you uh, happy holiday. Happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. And let me tell you this, please. If you want Joey, you know, to be brought on, which we all do, just go to cameo.com and book a personal shout out for me. Okay. E exactly. And on top of that, retweet our shit, interact with us, screenshot that you're listening to our shit and put it on our Instagram so we can do that. And follow us. And follow us and tag whoever the fuck you want here. You know who I'm talking about, Uncle D and, uh, and Aunt E. And get us a little uh, notoriety here because we're trying. It's going to happen. Have patience with us. But in all seriousness, Joey, I do. I absolutely love doing the show with you. I do, too. And I'm very happy that, you know, we hit it off and we met. And I think we have something special here. And I can't wait to see what the next year will bring. You're the best thing that happened to me this year. I love it. Even you. though it's not money, I, I found a friend, a confidant, and hopefully a husband. Okay. Okay. And and, and as to that, uh, cheers to 2021. Happy New Year. We'll see you guys uh, in 2022. Here's to the Second Amendment. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>